Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you want to invest in high quality clothing for your capsule wardrobe, but you're not sure what to look for, this video is for you. I'll be sharing how to identify high quality stitching and construction and red flags that you should avoid when shopping for your capsule wardrobe. The first thing to look for when evaluating the quality of a garment is the stitching. If you can, turn the item inside out and look at all of the seams. If you can see snags or loose ends, I would consider that a red flag, especially if it's a brand new item. Look for straight stitching and flat seams. Pinching, bunching, or wavy seams are an indication of poor quality and can also translate to poor fit on the body. A few common seam types that you may be able to identify are an unfinished seam, a surged edge, a flat felled seam, or a French seam. Avoid unfinished seams whenever possible. Surged seams are very common and they are preferable over an unfinished seam, but they're not necessarily of the highest quality. Higher quality seams include the French seam for lightweight or delicate fabrics and the flat felled seam, which is most commonly used in denim. If you spot these and they're done well, they can be an indicator of quality. In addition to stitching, examine all buttons and zippers. Buttons should be evenly spaced and aligned in a straight line, as long as that's what was intended. Buttons also should not feel loose or flimsy. Buttons sewn on by a single thread are a very common indication of poor quality. Also look for finished buttonholes. It can also be desirable to see buttons that match the color of the garment. When it comes to zippers, look for a high quality metal zipper. YKK zippers are commonly accepted as a very high quality zipper. If you can't tell the brand, at least try out the zipper, see how easy it is to attach and detach, and whether or not the zipper catches as you run it up and down. It should be very easy to attach and detach, and it shouldn't catch on itself. Next, examine the construction of the garment. If the fabric is patterned, ensure that the patterns line up across seam lines. You can also examine the direction of the actual fabric across seam lines, although this can be difficult to spot. If the fabric has been cut in various directions, this can cause seam lines to twist after washing. I know I have a couple of t-shirts that have done this, and you can really tell when you go to fold the item and you line up the shoulders and then the bottom of the garment doesn't quite line up. Unfortunately, twisted seams usually only become apparent after you've washed an item, so I would recommend looking out for this in your wardrobe and maybe thinking twice before repurchasing from the same brand if you're experiencing twisted seams. Also check the hems. Hems should be sewn to the actual garment itself all along the hem, not just at a few points on the hem. Also avoid garments where the hem is sewn to the lining rather than the garment itself. If the hem is not sewn properly, it will fall down, causing the hemline to look frumpy or undone. If the item is lined, look for lining fabrics such as modal or silk, and avoid 100% polyester linings, which are not breathable. And also, check the overall sturdiness of the item. You should be able to tug at it pretty confidently without feeling like it's gonna fall apart. A couple of other things to consider include the fabric types and the washing instructions. I created a video all about the best fabrics to look for, which I will link in the cards here. But in addition to looking for natural and sustainable fabrics, it's important to note whether or not the fabric is appropriate for the type of garment that you're looking for. For example, I would avoid blazers made out of overly stretchy fabrics, since blazers are meant to be structured and hold their shape. Think about the purpose that the garment has and try to evaluate whether or not the fabric that it's made of is appropriate for its use. And check the washing instructions to make sure that they will be practical for your lifestyle. Along with checking the wash instructions, you can also check for extra buttons and thread which are often included in a tag on the inside of the item. These are a sign that the designer expects the item to last long enough to be worthy of some minor repairs and are a great sign of quality. Finally, price is not always an indicator of quality and so it's a very good idea to always check for product reviews. Even if you want to purchase an item elsewhere, try to find an online shop with reviews where you can check to make sure that other customers haven't reported any issues with quality, fabric, or fit. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new about looking for high quality clothing which will stand the test of time. This is the second video in my quality clothing guide series, so if you haven't seen the first one, I will link that in the description box below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more personal style and capsule wardrobe videos from me every Wednesday. See you in the next one.